You can learn pretty much everything you need to know about Excel for data analysis in one afternoon. So let's just start off with some common Excel formulas. If you don't have Microsoft Excel, you can just use Google Sheets. Let's start with some aggregations. You can use the sum formula to find the sum of a group of cells. So if I wanted to find the sum of this sales column here, I would just click into the cell where I want my answer to be displayed, type equals sum open parentheses, and then click and drag over the cells I want added together. Now you can close your parentheses if you want, but it's not required, and hit enter. And there is the sum of all of my cells in the sales column. Alternatively, instead of clicking and dragging over the cells you want to sum, you could click one cell, add a comma, click the next cell, add a comma, and keep doing that until you have all of the cells selected. So this method works great if the cells that you want to add up are not all right next to each other in your spreadsheet. Another way to select all of your cells is to actually just select the entire column of data that you want to sum. You need to be a bit careful with this method because if you add data anywhere in this column that you have summed, your sum calculation will change to include that data. So this method is great if you wanted to keep adding entries. For example, if I wanted to add a new entry with an order ID 1011 and a quantity of two, you'll notice that my sum formula automatically updated to include this new data that I added. Most other aggregate formulas work the exact same way. I can type equals average open parentheses, and that will allow me to find the average of the cells that I select. I can type equals median, open parentheses, and that will allow me to use the median function. Pretty much every kind of aggregation that you can think of, there is an Excel formula for it. It's helpful to have the most common formulas memorized to save yourself some time, but if you ever get stuck, you can always just head to Microsoft's support website.